Melissa with Fashion Mingle, and I'm here with Mr. Wen, the Acting Council General from the Indonesian Consulate here in New York City. Thank you for taking a few moments to talk with us about the important relationship that Indonesia and the United States have in apparel industry. Can you tell us about the history of how Indonesia has worked with the U.S. in the apparel industry? Basically, Indonesia is the biggest country in Southeast Asia and we have a lot of in common with the U.S. We are also the biggest democracy in the world, uh, number three, and the U.S. Uh, is number two. And as the Indonesia is the fourth most populous country in the world and the U.S. is the number three. So we're very much the same. Indonesia very much and the, the United same. States is and very we, similar. We, we share a lot in common as well that we both we praise and also about the di diversity. You know, like in the U.S. has a, a lot of people that share a lot of values of democracy in terms of uh, diversity in culture as well as in languages and etc. as mm -hmm. what happened in Indonesia. And regarding the cooperation in trade, for example, yes, our biggest trade with the U.S. is in apparel. Okay. And among others, of course, fashion. And if we are talking about fashion, up to now, there is not many American people knows about Indonesia, knows about the products of Indonesia, among other is uh, traditional fabrics. Okay. Not only batik, but on also there are many traditional fabrics in Indonesia, such as tenun, ikat, endek from Bali, and etc. And since the last three years, I see bit by bit Indonesian presents in terms of fashions getting increasing. Mm -hmm. So thanks God we have the opportunity to join the New York Fashion Week. From three years ago we are in the periphery and now we can get to the main states of New York Fashion Week and the consulate as the representative of Indonesian government in cooperation with the Indonesian Fashion Gallery in New York have a very good cooperation in promoting Indonesian fashion. Among others, we also have some events both in the consulate in Indonesian Fashion Gallery as well as in New York Fashion Week stage. Well, it has been really wonderful to see the Indonesian designers at New York Fashion Week for six seasons now. Fashion Mingles covered many of the shows and what I always find fascinating is what Indonesia designers offer is something that's so unique because it represents their culture. The designs, the batik designs and the other textiles you mentioned are part of the culture and it's represented in what the designers put on the runway. Right. Basically, the Indonesian designer that came to New York joining the New York Fashion Week is just a little amount of Indonesian potentials. Now the government very support what we call is creative economy industry. Creative economy, we define it as the monetizing of cultural products. Right. We have a lot of cultural products. If you may know, in Indonesia, we have more than 700 ethnic and tribes with their own culture, with their own traditional fabrics. But we still present in New York in very small amount. So the potentials in Indonesia potential is, for is, is very, huge. very big. Right. So that is why we are not only presenting some of our best designer to go to New York, but we would like to invite the American fashion community to come to Indonesia and to see directly mm -hmm. the potentials of this biggest country in Southeast Asia. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much indeed, and I wish more and more American people knows about Indonesia and more and more American can enjoy not only Indonesian products but on also visit Indonesia. <laughs>